Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build and to another installment of the Squish. Today I'm back with another tiny home. This one's actually a micro home coming in at 29 tiles and it's pretty affordable at 30,609 simoleons. Uh, this is going to be a tiny home in the world of Sulani, which came with the Island Living Expansion Pack and is actually for a sim who has a career from that pack as well. This is going to be for a conservationist. Uh, which is a career where your sim can work up through the career and basically improve the way Sulani looks and get rid of the various trash around, try and ward off invasive species. They just really care about the environment they're living in. So we used that as some inspiration here to create a sim, a tiny house. And I really like how this one came out. I never build anything modern on this lot. This lot is one of my favorites in Sulani because it's one of the few that's not over the water, but it's also not a giant lot or like on its own island. <laughs> so uh, this is just a cute little, I think a 20 by 20 lot or yeah, 20 by 20 lot near the beach. And I am actually building this sideways on the lot to get a little bit of a different view. Uh, so you have to kind of walk over this way to get to the front entrance. And at first I was thinking I was going to use these stones, but then I didn't like that in the end. <laughs> but it allowed me to figure out where I wanted to have the pathway go. So it worked out fine. Uh, and I do try to use them a few different times <laughs> in the landscaping here. But in the end, I don't end up using any stones. I use some wood planks, which I think looks so cool. I can't wait for you to see that. You probably saw it in the little fly-in shot in the beginning or in the thumbnail. But I absolutely adore how the landscaping on this lot came out. I think it's such a cute home and the layout on the inside is really interesting as well. Uh, as this is a micro home, you are very limited on space. So actually being able to fit everything in is a bit of a challenge, but I find it to be a really fun one and I think I did okay with this. Anyway, if you do like this build and you'd like to download it, you will be able to on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey. G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. Just continuing on the landscaping here, I'm getting some more rocks around. I really wanted to use this dark like grayish black rock uh, throughout because you can see that in the surrounding areas off lots. That's something I do a lot in my landscaping is I try and replicate the same sort of vibe that the areas in the world around have. So I use a lot of Shalai Vedit objects to grab similar plants and just try and make it look like it makes sense to be here unless I'm trying to go for something over the top that's different. Uh, but this was one where I wanted it to feel like it blended in and a lot of Sulani feels like it's just overgrown with all sorts of very lively plants. As you can see off lot, there'll be like huge clusters of this low lying green plant and some of these beautiful pink flowers. So I was just trying to replicate that here on this lot and I think I did it okay. I really like landscaping in Sulani. I think it's really pretty. And um, maybe I'll do another bigger house here sometime soon. I just, for some reason, got really tired of the lots that are over the water. So I never build on those anymore. But uh, there are some other lots that are unfortunately kind of big that are not over the water. So if you have any ideas on some Sulani builds you would like to see, do let me know because I'd be down to do that sometime soon just because I really don't build here that often and it's nice to change it up. But of course, Depending on when new packs come out and when the baby update comes out, my plans might change on when I want to do things and where I want to do them because there's probably going to be a ton of content on the channel around the infant update and <laughs> the new packs, uh, which I'm very excited about. I can't wait to get a new world. I can't wait to build like nurseries and all of that sort of stuff. And there might be some gameplay on the channel too. I'm, I'm considering doing the 100 baby challenge, but... I haven't made a final decision on that yet because I have a feeling if I start it and then don't want to finish it, that's going to be bad, but we'll see. We shall see. <laughs> but anyway, the landscaping is coming together here now. I'm just getting some more greenery kind of overflowing off the lot. And this is where I tried to use these rocks again. And they just still weren't working, even though I liked the idea. But I wanted like a curving path over path over here, but not just with terrain paint. Uh, and I wanted to have this item from Island Living where you could roast fish and all of that. Uh, so I also put a decorative fish thing over it, which I thought was quite cute. Uh, and then I ended up grabbing some wood planks. Somebody asked if there was anything else I could place down from Debug. 
uh, any other kind of rocks that were a darker color. And I was like, no, but we have wood. And I always forget this item exists. So I ended up grabbing a bunch of these and trying to lay them out so they looked like they were intentionally placed here on like this really pretty curve uh, leading to the main pathway. And so it does take a little bit of fiddling, but I think they come out really cool in the end. I was really happy that I did this. <laughs> it's just like a really nice design feature, I guess. Uh, I like when I can do little custom pieces like that in my builds. So that's what I did to lead over to that area and then getting lots of terrain paint. I just think it adds so much extra, I don't know, personality is not the right word. It just, it just looks more detailed and realistic. <laughs> so I was quite happy with that. I also added these little lanterns around and we should be almost done with the exterior, almost ready to head inside. Uh, this one just took a while on the outside because I really wanted the landscaping to look so lush. Uh, but inside, I had to figure out what to do with this floor plan because there wasn't really a good spot for a bathroom or a good spot for really anything. I just was focusing on the outside, so <laughs> I had to figure this out here. We ended up having a two-tile bathroom, which is a little odd, but it worked out really nicely for this environment. So the bathroom only has a sink and a toilet, and then there's another door in the bathroom that leads you outside, and there's an outdoor shower there which I think worked really nicely for Sulani. So I was happy with that. And when you first walk in, that's where the bed is. I was originally thinking the kitchen would go there, but I thought the kitchen would work so much better right here under these windows. So that's what I ended up doing instead. And the way I made the bedroom space feel built in, I think worked so nicely. I just really love this whole house. The layout just feels so different than a lot of tiny homes I've done. And it's always oh, just so refreshing when I'm able to come up with something a little bit different for the interior of these homes since... I've obviously done a lot of them on the channel, but they're still my favorites to do. So uh, anytime I can come up with something different, it's very exciting for me. So anyway, this is the kitchen space. I'm using the counters from Island Living, but I paired it with these upper head cabinets from Dream Home Decorator in a different wood swatch. I do have a few different wood swatches on the interior of this home, but I think it looks so cozy and warm that way. The flooring is from Jungle Adventure since I always get questions on that flooring. It's one of my favorite ones in the game. Jungle Adventure honestly has some amazing build and buy stuff. I would highly recommend it if you don't have that one yet. The build and buy is just so good. But anyway, in this bedroom space, I am using a bed and some cabinet pieces from Dream Home Decorator to kind of make it look built in. I am going to switch the bed out a little bit later for a different one, also from Dream Home Decorator in a different swatch, but uh, I still had the same idea. I thought it would look nicer to make it look built in with the cabinets and also make sure to push it forward enough so it's not tucked in that corner and your Sims can still use the bed even though it's right by the door and there's a wall right there. I wanted to make sure everything was functional in this home. Uh, that's always one of the most important parts I you are um, I prioritize. I almost said utilize. I prioritize when I am making these really tiny or micro homes is they need to be functional. And speaking of which, since I always get comments on this when I build kitchens like this in tiny homes, your Sims can prep food on the corner cabinet. So this is a functional kitchen. I have play tested this quite a bit over the years and it does work that way, which is so helpful. Uh, anyway, in here I needed to add my cutting boards, but I actually didn't end up keeping them there on top of the stove. I put one up here instead and I rotated it with tool. So we just have one cutting board up on the uh, shelf here. And I think it looks really cute that way. I never do that. And it just feels a little bit different, but it's still, you know, used a piece that I always use. I also got a place to hang up some towels over here, some extra soap, you know, all of the basics you would need. And here I am swapping out that bed. I actually ended up making a custom headboard for this bed using a couple of love seats, which I think are from city living maybe. <laughs> They're ones I like never use. Uh, but I also was going through debug over here to try and get some items that were a nice nod to what the Sims career was. I obviously at this point haven't done much on the interior to represent that sort of career. They're nearby the water, but they're not like on it. They can get a little bit of a break, but they can uh, relax in this space and also work out of here. So I do have some... Uh, stuff they might have found. We have this little turtle sign, which I think is so cute. We have a big shell, some items that are normally like found around the island or underwater. We have lots of books. I just really wanted to show <laughs> this Sim's interest and personality and all of that in this space. So I did get some of these really cute photos that you can get from, I think they're from scuba diving in Island Living. They're in debug as well. So I grabbed some of those. There's one over here right above the bed. 
I end up having one in the bathroom. I think there's one over on the desk that I haven't decorated yet. That's going to be in that room with all of those giant windows. Uh, so yeah, just moving everything around to make it look like it's more organically placed. And this is where I'm making this custom headboard just because it felt like it didn't look exactly how I wanted it to. So playing around with these and scaling them with tool and changing the color a couple different times. I settled on the white in the end, but for a while I do have it as that beige color, but I think it looks so nice. I was really happy with that decision. And I also wanted to get some more artwork up on this wall. So I'm going through what we have now to see what works nicely for the idea of the Sims career and the things they might be interested in that pairs nicely with this sign from Island Living, which is normally out on the beach for when the baby turtles like hatch and are going back into the water. Uh, but I thought it was a cute thing to add in here. And also I have a turtle crossing sign in my in my living room. So <laughs> I love when I get to use this in the game. So just doing that now and getting some really pretty like water paintings. And I think it looks so cute and cozy over here. I did build this on Twitch first and chat was saying how cozy it looked over here and how they just wanted to live in this little bed nook. And I, I agree. I really <laughs> like how that space looks. It's obviously it's not its own room. It's right when you walk in the door, but I still feel like I made it look really cozy. And that was the entire intention behind the interior here. Anyway, when you first walk in, I do have this little side table that has like a mirror and a place to hang your keys and all of that sort of stuff. I did think about putting a TV here, but I don't think I did in the end uh, because your sim could sit on the bed and watch TV, but you can easily add one if you prefer to have that in this space. I just put some, you know, regular decorations over here. I really like the little terrarium that I added. I believe that's from, oh no, what is that from? I want to say that's from the paranormal pack. No, it's not. What is that from? I can't think of it right now. It might be industrial loft. Anyway, this is going to be the area where I put the desk. This is just a table from Dream Home Decorator because I wanted to put just the desk space on one side instead of in the center. Uh, so you're able to actually place computers on tables. So that way, if you want to utilize it on the side instead of the center of the desk, you can do it this way. And then I'm just adding another one of these scuba paintings and rotating it so it looks like it's leaning against the window, which I thought was quite cute. Uh, that one has a turtle on it. I just, I, I think this sim has a special space in their heart for turtles. I liked that idea. And then just got like a little tray with candles and books, you know, a nice space to do some research. And this view they have is absolutely stunning <laughs> through this window. Uh, and then just, you know, just decorating it a little bit more with a couple more nods to the area they're in. I get some plants. I also have this little fish statue. I put the life preserver up there as well, which I thought looked so cute, hanging on like the little divides in the window. I just felt like it added a little bit more to that space. And then I'm just getting a trash can in here because I almost forgot to do that. And it's kind of important to have for your Sims. I do have an outdoor trash can and a mailbox as well. I'm really good at forgetting those things. So I was happy to actually remember to do that this time and then just trying to figure out a rug to put here in the entryway and going with this one in the end just right in front of the door and then I have a little desk I or not a little desk I'm making it part of the desk uh, a little dresser over here I just add a little bit of clutter into as well and I feel like that just makes the desk look more realistic as it has storage underneath I, I quite enjoyed that and then you know, adding even more clutter to it because you're very limited on space here. So a place to put their glasses, they have some notes and a watch, all of their working space. I also ended up putting a fan in here, which is not something I typically do in my builds. I always forget they exist, but they're such a cute little feature to add into your game. So that's what I did. And this is the two tile bathroom. So I have the toilet kind of shoved into the wall over there, the sink shoved into the wall over here. Uh, I should be nudging it a little bit here shortly. I know I moved it. Maybe I didn't record that part, but, uh, and then we got another little painting in here. There's another door. <laughs> there we are. Uh, so you can head out here and this is where the outdoor shower is going to be, which was the best way to include everything in this build. I could have tried to fit it all in the two tiles. It's definitely possible. You can t technically do a one tile bathroom, uh, but I like it to look more realistic. So I decided to do it this way and I haven't used this outdoor shower in such a long time. And Sulani is the perfect environment to have an outdoor shower. So it was perfect. I was really happy with it. So it's just like a cozy little space out back surrounded by nature. Your Sims can go ahead and shower. And uh, that's pretty much it for this build. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. 
subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the screenshots. Bye everyone. Come on, come on.